What's up, YouTube? This is Irv Vernacular TV. If you like the content that I'm producing, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. As conversation goes on about the role of police in society, there is a new sentiment out there by those on the left-hand side, the liberals on the left-hand side, the idea of defunding the police. This conversation comes about because state representatives, i.e. the police, state representative and the extrajudicial killings of this kind of pigmentations in cases like Mike Brown, George Floyd, so the conversation is being had, what is the role of police within society? Those on the left-hand side, feminists and uh, liberals, having different perspective as to police role within society. You know, those on the right-hand side of the political spectrum believes in law and order, law and order, harsh punishment, Law and order. So the discourse is taking place as to what is the role within society of police. Some on the left hand side are saying that police needs to be defunded. Is that feasible in this current climate environment? Can the police be defunded and the communities they have the safety that 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 they need, the security that they need? So this is the conversation I want to have. Is defunding the police is it uh or idea that is sustainable. With the killings going on African American within the United States by state official extrajudicial killings in and by about the police uh in the Eric Gardner case and cases like that, it brings about the conversation. What is the role of the police within society? Can the police be defunded? And when the police are defunded, what are what are the resources going to be, you know, what are the resources that the community going to need to help that community come from up out of that condition in which they are in? When you talk about defunding the police in African-American community, you're going to have to address the social element, the social, the, uh, 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 the social prerequisite that must be there. Because if you remove the, the police from many African-American community, there's going to be anarchy. And you have to you have to be factual in these things. The killings that is going on around in the city, in Atlanta, Georgia, in, in Chicago, in New York, in California, the different things that is going on. So law and order is needed in a certain certain regard. But if the police are defunded and the resources are put into, you know, helping people get jobs. Dealing with um, on, on drug and alcohol, mental illness, allocate resources in those um, in those avenues to help deal with societal problems. Uh, um, um, that can be a good thing. But one thing people get sidetracked and short sighted with when we are having conversation about you know uh, on, on, on this topic that I'm talking about about defunding the police. You cannot defund the police. The police represent that power structure behind the power structure. Security is very important to the state and the state must maintain security at all costs. How can you defund the police in this current times when you see the, the state of the nation? The nation is in turmoil. You see what the mob ruled, you know, and went and stumbled down on congressional uh, uh, hall, walked through the hall, uh, armed down to the teeth. How can you defund the police against that? When you have all these um, uh, 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 militant militia groups, hundreds of militia groups all around the country, the Proud Board, the Boogaloo Board, the Three Percenter, all these different... How can you defund the police? The police understand that in this country, this country is a gun-toting country. This country is a gun-toting country, and it's a fact. People don't like to deal with that reality. This country is a tough country to live in. 
he's beautiful, got a lot of wealth, but it's tough to live in because, you know, it's just a whole different beast. If you look at people in the arms that they have out here, the police can't have small gun. They have to have big gun in order to meet those kind of challenges that may come 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 from people who oppose a threat to the state. Also, people got to arm themselves because, you know what I'm saying, and you don't want the state to be out of order and trample on the people, right? So, like, things like the second amendment is very valuable. Well, that's why people are arming themselves because they got that right, that constitutional right to arm themselves. So, that discourse is very complex. As we saw with Ferguson, when Mike Brown was killed in Ferguson, we saw the militarization of the police like no other time. We are living in a police state. The police, you know, the police is very militarized. All the weapons that were left over from the Pentagon war effort overseas in Iraq, in, um, uh, 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 in Afghanistan, all these weapons is being trickled down to the local police department through these different programs. As Obama met, you know, former President Obama, as he met with the fraternal order, at first he did not want to give, he didn't want to arm police to, to, to this magnitude. But as he met with the fraternal order in 2014, he gave in. Now the police are armed down to the teeth. You saw with Ferguson, the, the whole world saw the militarization, the tanks, you know, the, the, the helicopter, the drones, the, you know what I mean? It just it was just shocking the type of weaponry that, that was brought out. So you can't defund the police. The state understand that. The state understand that it must maintain order. It must maintain security. So defunding the police is not feasible, as we see in um San Francisco with the with, with the mayor of London. At first she was with the idea of defunding the police, but now uh, uh, as that idea has tried to take place, she is seeing the reaction that is going on. People are running into people's stores. People are running into people's stores. You know, robbery is taking place. It's becoming much more anarchy because you, you need security. You, you know, you need security and the po police. Regardless of of the crimes that is allegedly committed by all the police department around the country, which is truth. Police brutality is real and it's truth. But police is still needed in those regards because the social condition must be ripening for you to move, for you to do away with the police. If not, it's going to be anarchy. The community is going to go to war. The social condition must be there. The mental condition must be there, especially in, in our African-American community. The mental condition must be there to come from up out of this situation. Jobs can be provided. Mental health can be provided. All those things can be provided uh, uh, to help the community. But you need security. You see, the game violence, you, the game violence is serious in the community. Black people are... You know, or, or we are each other neck. You know, I'm not saying no other group of people are not at each other neck, but we are each other neck. And it's publicized and it's blown up. So the idea of defunding the police, it, it, it's a utopia idea. And, you know, you know, it's a utopia idea in this capitalist society, in this complex society. The complexity of the society is crazy. The mental health problem in this country is crazy. You know, defunding the police is tough right now in our situations because the community leadership, there's a lot of local community leadership in black people community. Absolutely. But they don't have the resources. They don't have to, they don't have all the tools and mechanisms to help the community. You know, that's why politicians are very vital. The politician that we are electing and putting in these offices in the local races, the mayor race, the governor race. The Congress, the congressional races, the presidential races, you know, we have to hold them accountable, accountable to provide the, 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 the social incentive that the community there would need to carry it on. But when the, when the politician goes to Washington, they want to get rich. And the elite class, they're going to continue to, 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 to supply the police with the things that they need because the police represent the business class. It, the, 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 the bottom class from being 
from being from being able to 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 go on the other side and disturb the business class. That's why the police protect businesses because businesses is very important. So you can't be going around the country destroying businesses in your own community, in your own community, and you think that is right. But at the same token, you understand grievance of people, you understand anger of people. But we got to get together, we got to get it, got to get it together mentally because this is a mental war, it's a mental struggle. So defunding the police is great, but within our community, security is needed. And if we don't have the role and the, the, the resources to assume these security, defunding the police will become very anarchic within the community.